Now, anyone who watches my videos knows that I like wind power, solar power, any kind of alternative or um, renewable energy. Now, this is actually a nuclear-powered keychain light. If I put it like this, you can see that it lights up. It's not extremely bright, but it is nuclear power. This is a tritium core and the inside is um, coated with phosphor. So when the tritium nuclear energy decays, uh, it excites the phosphor and that's what gets you this. So this will actually stay bright for between 10 and 20 years and it doesn't require any um, exposure to sunlight. It really is the, the decay of the nuclear energy that excites the phosphor and creates the light. So I wondered, okay, so it's decaying. Could you do anything else with that? So I put together this coil of wire. Now it's just regular magnet wire, um, it's 26 turns and then it has the LED on the end. And what I found is if you put it over the tritium core, it actually manages to light up. Now it doesn't have a lot of energy, I, I'll admit that. Um, I tried with different types of coils, uh, like this one and uh, where's another one? This one. So I've tried different sizes, different amounts of turns, but I found that generally the bigger um, 26 turn one was a little bit more reliable. So as soon as it goes through the, um, or the tritium goes through the coil, it actually manages to light up the LED. <coughs> so it's pretty impressive in that respect. Uh, but in my testing, the most I was able to get out, and that was with a lot of testing, was around one watt. So, you know, it's not a lot of energy, but it is some energy. Um, so yeah, that's it really. It's it's an ongoing experiment, but yeah, it's using tritium, uh, of course, which is nuclear, to power, you know, uh, small devices. Of course it can't power a lot with one watt, but, you know, it could at least power, um, you know, it could charge a cell phone slowly, or it could power some LEDs. So, you know, that's it. Uh, if you have any comments, please put them in the comment section below, and if you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe.